Hi, my name is Mary Spender and you are watching Tuesday Talks. And in this week's episode, I remind myself why it's important to always think like a beginner. A few years ago, I had the arrogance to say to a friend, I just can't remember what it's like to not be able to play guitar. And he just looked at me and said, you just don't remember, do you? You don't remember what it's like. He just told me simply to take my guitar and instead of it feeling comfortable this way round, he said, turn it, make it left-handed. Once I tried that, I realized how awkward and how difficult it is to start playing guitar. Like, look, this is gonna be, this is gonna be embarrassing. Nailed it. After being a little bit embarrassed and totally humbled, I realized that it's always important to see yourself and think like a beginner. So back to the main point of this video. Yes, it basically is an excuse for me to use some cool GoPro footage, but watching the footage back, I realized that I could create my own little set of rules on why I shouldn't ever be scared of being a beginner again. So my first rule for myself is to always document the progression because no matter how embarrassing it is, it's pretty rewarding seeing the difference at the end of a week. Then I need a community to help me through. My friends were amazing at being really patient and kind and guiding me. To the right, Mary. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right behind you. And one of the rules that I have always followed as a musician is to be the worst player in the room. That is how you learn. What about this next bit though? That looks scary. Nah. Okay. Accept help, accept guidance, and let them challenge you. Okay, let's go off feast. Joking. You want your GoPro on for this? Because I only ever regret the things I don't do. Oh wow. It's important to remember that although it's sometimes good to be competitive, sometimes there really is no competition there. And it's important to remember that everyone is on their own journey and there is enough room for everyone too. Not sure I can keep up that pace for a crazy amount of time. My friends managed to make me feel really joyful even when I was feeling pretty rough and tired. And I just kept remembering that it was really important to keep a smile on my face no matter how I felt inside because it really did make a difference. However, Sometimes my friends did leave me behind a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But it's important to forgive them and move on. <laughs> <laughs> I am self-aware enough to realize that I also need constant words of encouragement. Yeah. She's speedy. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? My heart is racing out of my face. I'm trying not to get out of control though. And when my friends weren't there and I was having to face the slopes alone, I realized that I talked to myself quite a lot. Leaning, leaning, leaning. Relax, relax, relax. Stand up. I talk myself through. Just have to get nervous, really. That's all it is. I'm down the mountain. I want to go down the mountain. Lean down, lean down. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Starting to lose a little bit of control. But I also realise that I make really strange noises when I am nervous or excited. <laughs> there will be times when you feel like it's an uphill battle and there will be bumps and obstacles in the road, figuratively and quite literally. and sometimes the conditions are far from perfect. It's my first time skiing. And it's... <laughs> but that is when it's important just to take a deep breath and take it slowly. 
When I'm out of my comfort zone, I get tired and I often cry. And don't worry, I will spare you that footage. Luckily, the mask hid my, my tears. But it's important for me just to gather my thoughts, have a little rest. And then it's just time to start again. I fell on my ass a lot. And after those emotions have run so high, you then start to feel like you're getting the hang of it. But I'm getting the hang of it. But just when you're feeling confident, you probably will crash. <laughs> In conclusion, everyone at the top of their game, everyone that you see going down mountains fast or playing guitar really quickly, they have failed hundreds, if not thousands of times. And I have to remind myself that there isn't a problem with failing, it's how you deal with it and how you pick yourself up again. There's no time for bad behavior or showing off your insecurities. It's just time to move on and climb another mountain. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was really cheesy. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Tuesday Talks. If you haven't already, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and comment below with anything that you might take away from this video. But otherwise, I'll see you next week. <laughs>